Hey guys, I'm doing a room tour. I'm gonna try, I already did one earlier, but it was kind of shaky, so I'm gonna see if this one works better. I'm on my tripod, so hopefully it'll work a little better. So I'm gonna do a slow pan, that's my desk. There's a pole thing. And then there's the back of my cubes. And then I'm going to have to move the tripod. Here's where dizziness starts to get in. So, and then here's all my shelving. So, I am trying something new this time. I am a visual person, so I'm trying to keep as much of my embellishments as I possibly can without it looking gross out so I can use a lot more. So that's what this all is. And these are 6x6 albums that are done and some work that's done and some cards that people made me there's some more embellishments and then these are albums that I finished and then albums that need to be finished and then this is a drunk area so coming back up slowly okay I'm gonna cover the camera and move alright so here is a wood container, and this carries all, well, it's all my raw wood frames and stuff like that that I want to alter. And then above that are all my Cricut cartridges. I know other people have different ways of, you know, they put them in containers, but I need to see them because there's some cartridges I forgot I had, to be honest. and. So this way I can see them. Hopefully I don't grow much more because this shelving space is perfect. And then my Cricut Imagine ones are right there. Then over here it's just books and movies. Just random stuff. I hope to get rid of it so I can clean it up. So I'm going to... I'll just pan you over here first. So this is just like um, stuff I worked on. A little tea area where I store my totes. Then on this pillar there's some work. And I'm going to cover you again and take you over to the other section. I think this way is working much better because the other one I was even getting nauseous doing. Okay, so I'm not looking too pretty. And the cam there's a mirror in front of us, alright? So, hi. I'm not looking too pretty. I'm going to tilt you down so you don't have to look at me. Alright, so here's my friend's sewing machine that she got me borrow. And it's, this room's awesome now because I have room to put it out. I can never use it because I just never had the room to put it out. So I'm really excited. Then here is all my die cuts. Well, 90, like 6% of them are there. And I can't, I just love this because now I will always see them. And because I forget that they're there. I have a lot of beautiful Tim Holtz dies there. And I forget that they're there because I can't see them. And then if I move over here a little more, I just have some of my random work, favorite layouts and stuff. My larger dies are back there, and then my border quick cuts are behind that layout. And then my bind it all, and then my iPod thing. In these things is nothing much, just like boring stuff like printers and packing stuff. So I'm going to slowly pan you over here. And we have the front of my cubes. So here is my clip it up, some work, and then some random ribbons and some random embellishments in there, and then my cards are in that box that I make. Then down here, these are all work in progress projects, like not all of them are I'm working on or in the pro they're projects that I want to work on next. So once I'm done with a project, you know like this one's pretty much done here got very little paper in it. Once I'm done I empty it and then I'll just move on to the next project that needs to be done. This is my Prima flower storage, um, my Cricut mats and my white cardstock for my Imagine and just some uh, little 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 tiny alphabet stamps. Some more Prima flowers down there. My embossing folders go there. My I Am Roses down there. Then these two are all full of basic gray. <laughs> basic gray and then my stamping up and my close to my heart is down there. Over here it's Tim Holtz, some empty ones, they are actually empty, 
and then some kits that I need to use, and then just some like envelopes and tags. So I'm going to swing you around. So I'm going to cover it and swing you around to the other side. And then in here is just chipboard and just random like adhesive and boring stuff like that. So I'm going to cover you and move you to my desk. Alright, so here, this is my Making Memories Embellishment Center. It's pretty much the same as it always was, except it has seven gypsies on the bottom instead of Tim Holtz, because Tim Holtz has his new drawer now. This uh, thing right here, I'm going to scan in a little, is really awesome. I love it. I did have it in my room, but in my closet, and you can, I couldn't use it because it was in the closet. But now it's got all my stamps done by company, like all my pink stamper stamps are there, and sassafras are there, and seven, seven gypsies, the big seven gypsies, the big fancy pants, heroes arts, big background stamps, gl um, glimmer mist masks, Tim Holtz masks, and then huge stamp sets that just wouldn't fit into a CD case. I don't like splitting my stamp sets up in several cases. If I can fit them all in one case, awesome. If I can't, then I'll just keep them in their package. So I'm going to zoom out. There is my my Cricut, my Cricut Imagine, and then here is my desk. So it's really um, gray crap all over it because I'm in the middle of a package, or package, I'm in the middle of a project, so and then I just got a little bit of a freaking haul there. Isn't that gross? I'm so, eh, whatever. Uh, I'm addicted to scrapbooking, shopping. I swear shopping makes this hobby even more funner than actually doing it. My desk is completely, it isn't now, but when it has no project on it, the only thing that's on it is my computer and my lamps and then that cube. And that's it. I love that because before all that stuff in the back shelf was on my desk. So, and then here's my, just some American Craft stamps and my Tim Holtz stamps that I use the most. That's full of glimmer mist. And then I'm going to cover you again and move you. Alright. Here is, all these are kits that need to be used. My vintage dictionary, odds and ends, and making memories, vintage findings. These are hold. Um, all my 6x6 six six pads and then this is just separated by paper company like Webster's Pages Making Memories. I have two Making Memories because I am a Making Memories fan. Um, like Fancy Pants, Graphic 45, like all my favorite companies are in there. Like I like to organize by companies and then the one next to it is just like acetate random card stock just like one sheet of each fall which that's the only season I have labeled because it's the only season I have a ton of and then all about me and then more making memories that's the second one and then letters and word embellishments and then that's cane company and that's my solution cartridges right there and then this CD case holds my stamps and then this holds my wooden stamps and ribbon and then I'll move you again once more. We're almost done. And this white thing, like before, it held my chipboard, stamps, and then um, all the two bottom rows are now all my paper. So this is my new scrapbook room now. I really like it. I have so much room and there's so much floor room where I can set up another table and have friends come over and play with me. So thanks very much for watching and if you have any questions or want me to show you something in detail just leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to uh, answer your question or do another video. Thanks very much and I hope you have a great day. Bye!